Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the second versus the third generation Ford F-150 Raptor. We're going to compare things like the exterior styling, powertrain, and also the interiors of both of these trucks. And we're going to start here on the left with this truck here. This is a 2018 Ford F-150 Raptor. This is finished in lead foot gray. And this truck over here is a brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor finished in Atlas Blue. Now both of these trucks here are pretty much fully loaded models. This being an 802A model, this being an 801A, and a Ford kind of changed away the, uh, the naming for both of the equipment groups. But they are both fully loaded models. And uh, this truck over here is, a, is actually a used vehicle here at McPhee Ford. And it is for sale. Uh, so if you're interested, feel free to you know, give us a call. Your information is right up there. But let's, uh, let's dive right into this comparison. So this truck right here is the second generation Raptor released for the 2017 model year and integrated Ford's EcoBoost engine, which was the, uh, a pretty big shock in the automotive world. Uh, everybody wanted to have the V8 as the first generation Raptor used the V8s. Uh, they used two different V8s for the first generation, uh, but they went to the EcoBoost model for the 2017 model. Um, but I do want to take a look sort of at the front ends here of both of these trucks. So we have these LED headlights and sort of a unique uh, sort of feature of a Raptor model is the amber accent here. Uh, so we have the amber accent in the headlight and also on the top of the grille here. Now these lights on the grille are, are actually functional uh, because these vehicles are so wide. In fact, because they're over 80 inches width in width, uh, Ford actually has to incorporate these marker lights in the grille and also on the sides of the truck as well. And another sort of signature design element of a Raptor model is the grille. So we'd have the Ford logo spelled out right there in the middle. It also houses the front camera system right there. Looking at the bumper, we do have a unique bumper for the Raptors as well. Uh, these do carry a lot of unique uh, sort of uh, design aspects from a regular F-150 uh, that Ford uses for the Raptor models. Uh, it has sort of the gray, uh, sort of matte satin gray uh, top there. And then the bottom, uh, which is the skid plate. The skid plates go across the entire underbody of the Raptors has a sort of aluminum finish and also have the tow hooks down here as well. Now moving on here to the third generation Raptor which was introduced for the 2021 model year. Uh, so this has the sort of a four year uh, lifespan whereas this was released for the 2021 and then now is up to the current date. Um, but looking at the front end styling here of this, uh, this F-150 here we do have these adaptive LED headlights. Very similar design with the amber accent there. And again, with the, uh, the marker lights in the grill as well. And looking at the grill here, again, very similar styling with the grill. We have the Ford logo spelled out. Also that front camera system right there. And the bumper is also similar as well. Although there are a few things that I do want to point out. Um, first of all, we do have a front parking system here, which is certainly nice, especially with the, uh, you know, the size of these vehicles. It's nice, it's nice to have a, a parking sensors in the front bumper. Uh, but what Ford did for the new third generation Raptor is they integrated the uh, rigid LED off-road lights here in the bumper, uh, which was not offered for the, the second generation. Uh, these just are sort of hollowed out. Uh, this is cool though. You can see the, uh, little, the suspension in there, which is pretty cool. You can kind of give a little sneak peek of the suspension. Um, but Ford did integrate the, the rigid LED lights there into the bumper. And here you can kind of get an idea of the width of these trucks. They're about seven inches wider than a regular F-150, uh, which is crazy because a regular F-150 is already a very large vehicle. Um, so we have about seven inches in width uh, increase from the regular F-150. So we have, um, and you see it here right in the fenders. Uh, so Ford increased the width in the fenders. It has sort of that Coke bottle shape. Uh, you can also see we also do have Fender flares on both of these as well with the same finish as the bumpers. The hoods are also unique to the Raptors. Um, looking here at the second generation, we do have a little bit of a hood graphic here, uh, which, was, uh, which was standard on the Raptors. Uh, you can option in a delete package, but this one does have that. Um, this one does not have the graphics, but you can option in graphics. Uh, so they're kind of backwards, but um, this one also has the Raptor logo there on the hood. Uh, heat extractors in the hood, they're functional. They do work, uh, which is nice. So they have these sort of more aggressive styling in the hoods. But now we'll take a look at the wheel and tire setup for both of these trucks. So looking here at the second generation Raptor, Ford went to a 35 inch tall tire. Uh, and back in 2017, that was a huge, huge tire. Uh, nobody offered this size on a production vehicle. Uh, so this is truly a large tire. And uh, you can see it right here. We do have the LT31570 on a 17 inch wheel. Uh, there were a couple of different wheel options here. This is the standard wheel. Uh, there was also a beadlock capable wheel. Uh, but we don't have that option here on this particular truck. Again, this is a used vehicle, so I don't really have ch a choice of, of what we have here. Um, but this is the standard wheel that came on the Raptors. 
And looking at the wheel and tire setup here on the third generation Raptor. Um, so this is actually the standard uh, wheel combination for the new style Raptors. Um, Ford actually introduced the uh, Raptor 37 package, uh, the 37 performance package, which gives you the 37 inch tall tires. I know we don't have that option here on this particular truck, but it is available and uh, it's the first time ever a 37 inch tire has been mounted to a production vehicle. Um, but this also has the beadlock uh, wheels, the beadlock rim, so it has the beadlock capable wheel that you can actually lock to the bead of the tire uh, to, to prevent it from um, de-beading if you're going off-roading. Uh, but very similar styling here and the tires are also the same uh, they both use uh, the bf goodrich ko2s uh, very very well known uh, very good tire for both of these trucks now we'll take a look at the suspension on both of these f-150s start here with the second generation and this is uh, this is the the first sort of iteration of the suspension that ford used for the uh, second generation raptor uh, so this is the fox fox uh, internal bypass suspension this is a three inch suspension uh, that Ford developed with Fox Racing. Um, Ford actually, they actually introduced a uh, live valve suspension. It's a live suspension that they introduced for the 2019 model year. Um, so this is an 18, so it doesn't actually have that, uh, but that was introduced for the 19s. So this is just the standard suspension. Uh, you can't change the, the stiffness or anything like that. Um, so it's just the regular off-road suspension. Uh, but here we do have the live valve suspension on the third generation Raptors. Uh, so we have the Fox live valve three and a half inch so they went up in size and um, you can change the sort of stiffness of the suspension as well uh, that is adjustable from inside of the cab uh, so we have a different suspension setup for the front here now one of the main differences between the uh, these trucks is the rear suspension uh, which ford went to a five link suspension for the third generation raptor which basically means they got rid of the leaf springs and the traditional truck suspension of the second generation raptor so if we look under here we do have the traditional leaf spring setup with your shock right there as well so you see we have your standard shock and then the leaf spring goes across uh, with your solid axle right there but if you look at the third generation raptor we actually have the coil spring setup right there and then you'll see we do also have the uh, the trailing arms that come across and mount to the frame uh, so ford went to the the five link setup and again we do have the fox live valve uh, you see we do have the wire that goes in there and that controls the the damping uh, so they went to a five link setup for the new generation Raptors. Now we'll take a peek at the rear ends here of both of these trucks. Very similar styling, uh, just a little bit more updated on the new style here. Both have LED taillights, uh, sort of the signature LED taillights there. And they also have the blind spot system in there. So this has the blind spot radar. Uh, this has the same thing right in there. Nice design here on the new, new style, sort of blacked out housing. They also both have sort of this uh, sort of tailgate applique on the back. Uh, so it says Ford right in the middle again, like the grill, it spells it out. And then you have F-150 and then a Raptor there on the right side. And uh, Ford did the same thing for the new style, just sort of changed it, updated a little bit, made it a little bit easier to read. Um, so again, Ford in the middle spelled out, F-150 and then a Raptor right there. We also have the same exhaust system back here, uh, the dual tips right out the back. Again, with the second generation Raptor. And we also have the dual tow hooks back here as well. Now, one thing to note is that the new generation Raptor does use a completely different exhaust setup in terms of its functionality. Uh, Ford used sort of a, a pretty unique, actually, uh, system for the new style Raptors. Uh, they use sort of a trombone setup. Uh, so they made the exhaust equal length. Uh, so it has a very unique sound, uh, which I'll show you the exhaust clip right now. <laughs> kind of give you an idea of the sound differences um, this one does have different exhaust modes you can change it you can make it quieter louder uh, so it's a valved exhaust whereas the second generation raptor is just the same sound all the time and i think the new generation raptor certainly sounds much better so we'll pop the hood here in the second generation raptor and again as i mentioned sort of in the beginning of the video ford went to the ecoboost system in the new uh, the second generation raptor i should say uh, so it's a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6 uh, that Ford has been using for quite a while. And uh, for 2017, uh, it made 450 horsepower and 510 uh, foot-pounds of torque. And that is paired to Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission, which was actually the first year that that transmission uh, was introduced. 
and we'll pop the hood here in the third generation Raptor and Ford actually used the exact same engine as the second generation Raptor. Uh, they sort of tweaked it a little bit for kind of just, you know, update it and whatnot, but it's the same engine, same 3.5 liter, and it makes the exact same power as well. Uh, so same 450 horsepower, and again, the same 510 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Also the same transmission, 10-speed automatic. It's the uh, the 10R80 that Ford, use, Ford uses, and unlike, you know, every single one of their vehicles now. Uh, it's a great transmission, great powertrain setup. I think the reason Ford didn't change the power plant is because this is actually a very good powertrain. Uh, it makes lots of power, it's very torquey, it's a very quick trucks, and it definitely spins up those 35 inch tall tires pretty easily. Now let's take a look at the interior of both of these trucks here. Uh, so Ford uses, uh, with the Raptors, full leather, uh, like you know you would kind of expect, and then it's unique seats to a regular, uh, two of the Raptors uh, from a regular F-150. They're more thickly bolstered. They also have different colors and whatnot. Nice Raptor logo there on the top as well. They're also, of course, fully power operated and they're heated and cooled, so they're very luxurious, less, very comfortable seats. And we also have the all of your window switches on the door, of course, all your window switches, your memory function for your seat. Uh, the steering wheel is also four-way power adjustable. You have all of your lighting controls over here, power adjustable pedals, uh, your mirror spotlights as well. All right, so now that we're in the second generation Raptor, again, this is a 2018, so they didn't really change it much throughout the years. Uh, but this is the 2018, this is, so this is the previous generation F-150 layout for the interior. Um, so obviously they have a new generation now, which is that truck over there. Uh, but this is the 2018. I'll show you the key fob really quick. Uh, so the keys are actually the same on both trucks. It includes remote start and also the tailgate release. Uh, so you have both the same keys. And they do have the Raptor logo on the back there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, push button start. You hear that 3.5 liter EcoBoost come to life. Again, 450 horsepower and 510 uh, foot-pounds of torque. This one actually has the interior carbon fiber package. So this one has the carbon fiber on the shift knob, also up here and on the, on the dash and kind of a bunch of other places on the door as well. Um, but looking at the steering wheel here, nice thickly bolstered steering wheel. It also has the red 12 o'clock position, uh, which is a pretty cool feature that you know people usually use on like race cars uh, before we incorporate on the Raptors, which I think is really, really nice. And uh, also another cool thing that they did is incorporate these super huge, super big uh, paddle shifters. So they actually have like these metal paddle shifters that they included uh, for the 10 speed automatic, uh, which is super cool that they didn't just do some flimsy little plastic things. Uh, they went to a, a metal paddle shifter and uh, we also have the adaptive cruise control system right here. And this is where you can control the uh, drive modes. Uh, so you have mode up and down basically, and you kind of just uh, scroll through each mode. So you have normal, you also have sport, weather, mud, sand. It's gonna try to shift it into four wheel drive. Uh, mud, sand, Baja, and rock crawl. Uh, so it'll automatically change all of the all of the drive systems, uh, which is actually a pretty cool thing that uh, people really liked for the newer, the second generation uh, Raptor versus the first generation, is that the first generation you had to put it into four-wheel drive, then lock the diff, then do this and this. This one, all you have to do is put the drive mode, whatever you want, and it'll do it all for you. It'll do all the four-wheel drive settings, turn off the traction control, all that, uh, without having to do it all manually. Um, here in the middle, we do have the uh, eight inch touchscreen display. This is the Sync 3 system uh, that Ford used for quite a while, uh, but they obviously introduced a new system for the new generation Raptors. Um, this is a good screen. This is, it, it did its job for, from you know, 2015 up, up, until, up until the, uh, the 2020 F-150. Um, so it's a great screen. It's a little small, obviously, for modern standards, uh, but again, very good screen. Navigation, all of that, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Again, your four-wheel drive settings are right here. You also have your trailering stuff and dual zone uh, automatic climate control, heated and cool seats as, as I mentioned. Also have some additional storage down there with some USB inputs. And again, your 10 speed automatic. You also have a tow, uh, tow haul mode, uh, which is kind of weird that they didn't incorporate that with the drive mode there, but whatever. Um, manual mode, that's how you activate the paddles. And also the lane keeping system button right there. But looking into the interior of the third generation Raptor, Again, the brand new Raptor 2022 has a, a lot more modern design, like you would expect for a new truck. It's a lot more modern uh, for the new style here. Uh, but these seats are also unique to the Raptors as well. Again, same thing, right? Different than a regular F-150. Uh, this is actually the sort of the standard seat option. Uh, you can actually get a blue Recaro seat, uh, which is actually available for those ones uh, as well. But uh, this one does not have this one, uh, the, the Recaros. Um, but this Raptor logo in the back, 
Um, this one has the upgraded sound system, so you get actually you get a speaker in the headrest, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you have a headrest and the spe a speaker in the headrest. Uh, again, seats are power operated as well, heated and cooled, all of that, um, nicely thickly bolstered. We also have some Alcantara sort of suede material uh, there on the on the supports as well. You also have your, of course, all your window controls right there, memory function. And again, there's that premium sound system speaker in the door. Now that we are inside the third generation Raptor, we'll take a look at the key fob again, like we did in the other truck. Um, but as I mentioned, exact same key fob, remote start, and the uh, the tailgate release, as well as the Raptor logo there on the back. And we also do have push button start. You will certainly hear that 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine come to life. Uh, Ford did a, a definitely a great job with the exhaust here, uh, which is sort of a big uh, sort of thing that was back in 2017 when that truck was released. People really didn't like the sound of it. You know, they wanted like a big off-road, you know, aggressive truck like that. They wanted a V8, uh, but Ford didn't give it to them. Um, so they kind of fixed it with this, with the new generation, uh, with that active exhaust and the sort of that trombone thing they did with the uh, with the piping there. Um, but again, unique steering wheel to the Raptor as well, very thickly bolstered, and also that 12 o'clock position right there is cool. Uh, we also have these paddle shifters, again, nice metal, uh, metal paddle shifters back there as well. Um, this one has the adaptive cruise control system. Uh, this is again a very loaded truck, this has pretty much every option, uh, adaptive cruise control, all of that. And this one also has the adjustable modes, so we have your exhaust modes right here, uh, which includes normal, sport, Baja, and quiet mode. Uh, so you can change the exhaust and then you can also change the suspension uh, so you can go from normal sport to off-road and then the steering modes as well uh, normal comfort sport and then uh, off-road which is over there uh, which you have to be in off-road mode um, that one actually does have steering modes as well uh, but this one is right here as well um, so we have uh, both of those lots of configuration here with the with the modes but the drive modes are down here. So there's kind of a lot of modes on this thing, but uh, this one has drive modes down here. Uh, so you can kind of cycle through here. So we have normal, we also have sport, tow haul, and then slippery. And then for some of the off-road modes, we have off-road, uh, Baja, and then rock crawl. Uh, so again, it'll also do the same thing as that truck. It will automatically change all of your four-wheel drive settings, your locking diff, and also your modes up here uh, for that specific drive mode. So let's actually try it out. Let's put it into uh, let's put it into off-road. I'm not going to touch anything. It's going to do it for you. Uh, so we put it in a four high, lock the rear diff, turn off traction control, and it actually pulled up the front camera system. And it gives you these sort of like tire track grid lines to kind of show you where your tire, uh, your front tires uh, will be planted on the road, uh, which is super cool that it does that automatically. It also turns off the pre-collision assist, turns the exhaust into sport, and then uh, the, uh, the suspension into the off-road mode as well. But the rest of this interior is again very modern, a lot more updated than the second generation Raptor. Uh, Ford uses a 12 inch display instead of the eight inch, which is a much better display, 12 inch display here. Uh, so it also has again, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all of that navigation. This also includes uh, features. You have the trail turn assist, which is actually a new feature not available with the second generation Raptor. Uh, I'll kind of give you an overview of what that does there. Uh, super cool feature. Uh, this one also has the 360 degree camera system, trail control, uh, which is super cool as well. All of your trailering stuff, again, four wheel drive, dual zone climate control, again, with the heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel. We do get a wireless charger, uh, which you don't get in that generation. Uh, USB inputs, again, your 10 speed automatic. Uh, now what's cool with the new, gen the new style, I guess just F-150s in general, is that it does have what's called the interior work surface. So you can actually fold the center console sort of the other way. And I have a nice flat surface here. Uh, you can eat a lunch, you can throw a laptop on it, whatever you want. Uh, so super cool that Ford incorporated that uh, with the new F-150s and the Raptors to be speci uh, more specific. We also have more outlets up here. We do have a dual glove box, uh, which is actually not available with that uh, older style here. So lots of storage uh, in the new style. We have the panoramic center again, and also those uh, auxiliary switches that I talked about earlier. So you can kind of get an idea of the design aspects of both of these trucks. Obviously the new one's a little more updated, a little more modern. I uh, you know the larger screen. This one also has the fully digital gauge cluster, which is also standard on the Raptors. Uh, but nice, nice materials for the new style. Um, they kind of went like, you know, like they didn't really just cheap out on this. They, they really put all they could into this thing. Nice sort of aluminum trim here on the dash. Nice little uh, colored accents uh, along there as well. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. I did just want to do sort of a quick uh, sort of comparison between both the second generation and the third generation Raptor. 
Uh, if you're interested in getting a Raptor just like these two, uh, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.